I was going to sing the song from the uh, Wolverine Deadpool trailer here, but I forgot what it was because Floppy and I were having an argument just before we went to camera. And Literally. Had to stop it. Literally having Literally an having argument. argument. Not figuratively. No, fuck that. No. Wow. Well, you know what? It could be now. It could be. Because it means the same fucking thing. It does. Because people can't learn. Indeed. Idiots. This is Hack the Dino, where we like uh, getting your grammar and shoving it up your nose. That's right. Take, I was going to say butthole. Take your grammar, shove it up your nose with the rubber hose. Yeah, for those of you born in the 70s, that was from Welcome Back, Cotter. Welcome back, welcome back. I'm Ben Rosenthal, back. one of the world tag team champions of the universe, <laughs> and I'm here to bring you Hack the Dino's Gaming Cast, where we bring you, via me, uh, news, previews, discussions, yeah, you know the spill. And if you don't, hi, um, you expect more of this. I'm joined by the full Dino team tonight. After five months, we got Floppy on my right. Yeah! And so on the left. And we got Brayden behind the keys. Hello. That's it. We're here. We're we're ready. We we're all we're gonna form a giant Zord in a moment and battle the galactic evil witches. Can I be the robot penis? No. Anto, what are you? <laughs> what, what's what's new with you? I haven't seen you in a while. Yeah, it's been. I think we would. How's your it. robot penis? Yeah, good. Mm. Good. Does a great job. Yep. Kurt is very happy. <laughs> <laughs> Um, <laughs> you have performance reviews? Obviously or? not watching. <laughs> a checklist? Uh, <laughs> no, oh, the next firmware update's going to be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll get I to put things software. in folders. Oh, um, whoa. Anyway. Oh. Yeah, no, it's been, I think we were discussing, it's been like five months since we were actually like able to do virus this scan is up to... T- yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, it was. It was the live show in November. Yeah, that's uh, yeah, it's been a long time. Where we were all on the same desk at the same time. Although... We were all together this past weekend at the Adelaide Comic and Toy Fair, which was a whole heap of fun, which we will talk about very, very shortly because we all found some really cool stuff. And we want to share it with you, the viewer. Hey. Floppy, what have you been up to lately? What have I... I have been a busy a busy boy, but I have been playing some games. I'm still playing Rise of the Ronin. Oh, okay. We're not going to... Um, we're not at that section yet, but that's okay. Are we... Oh. <laughs> no, no, no. Because right. I'm just... Intro- we're still in the intro. Oh, okay. What have I been doing? Yeah, what's, what's new? What's what's, happening? Uh, nothing. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> hey, Brayden. Went to Toy Fair, but you already said that. Howdy. Got, got anything better than old robot penis here? I, I mean, <laughs> no, I've just been working a lot. and uh, Where you been I, working? I, I, I've been working at Little Old Green Light Comics, oh, mate. Why do you sound so worried about where you work? It's uh, Yeah. Uh, big, <laughs> mate, if you worked where I work, you'd also be a little bit worried at all times. That's just the nature of small business. It's Ross, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> no, it's Dan. I feel so bad for Ross. I walked I in last Bless. week. He was being like accosted by four of those really intensely into their special interests yeah. dudes. Can at I the can same I do my impression time. of Ross whenever he has one of them? Yep, go. <clears throat> oh yeah, man, <laughs> fucking perfect. So yeah. accurate. I'm uh, gonna clip that and send that to oh, him. Yeah. yeah. Man, um, it's perfect. Yeah. Mm. Everyone who's been to Greenlight will know that that is an. If exact you had a lip ring, impersonation. right there. Mm. Yeah. And neat hair. Sorry, nay, no, just hair. <laughs> I thought that was Ross. No, I I will give one recommendation, and I'm literally like connected to him on the screen right now. Um, little old Optimus right here. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. I just read the upcoming Transformers Volume One from mm-hmm. Daniel Warren Johnson. Was it more than meets it your eye? Is so much more than meets the eye. It kicks ass. It's Ooh. so good. I highly recommend it. Keep an eye out for that one coming out soon. So Optimus Prime. Yeah. Robot penis. Oh. Uh, Detachable penis turns into a little truck. Goes around <laughs> roller. I mean, it's not little. <laughs> well, you don't know. You're underselling it. You don't want to be accosted by that thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, we're off to a good start. There's yeah. a reason why us four are never in the same room anymore because the judge said so. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, well, now it's time to talk about what we've been playing with with our hands and feet. Oh, I'm not. No, you know what? I actually don't give a fuck. I'll tell you. Okay, go for it. Yeah, no, I've just been playing Rise of the Ronin. Oh, good. I know. So I am still thoroughly enjoying this. Uh, that was a plot it is, twist. It is a bit bigger than I thought. We st- are we talking about rope penis or games? Uh, either yeah, or. it's a bit bigger than I thought. Uh, I've put like forty hours into it now, which for me is a that's, lot. Yeah, that is a it is a, a lot. Deal. But that's, that's what I mean. I'm enjoying it. It's just really easy to play, and I keep wandering off and doing side quests because they feel good. Speaking of which, Rise of the Ronin, Samurai Times. I uh, watched the. Series finale of Shogun. Shogun? Shogun? Oh, I went to watch that. Yeah? It's all fucking subtitled. Well, of course yeah, it is. Because they speak Japanese and Portuguese. Yeah, I want dubs. Why? Because I don't want to fucking read. I want to watch. 
That's how you get immersed into it. You actually hear the beautiful language that is Japanese. No, no, but I can't understand Japanese, so that's I need why you to read hear the subtitles. Yeah. No, but then if I read the subtitles, I don't see what's going on. I thought it was. I thought they had English in place of Portuguese. Portuguese, Portuguese. yes, but not in place but, of but Japanese. Japanese is still Japanese. Nihongo. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, nothing against the show. Nothing against the beautiful language. It's not like a racist thing. I just don't read fast enough to be able to read and watch. Oh, so okay. if I read, I may as well just read a fucking script because I can't see any pictures. All right, you're the same as uh, King Kaiju. Yep. He complains about that as well. Yeah, just dumb which it. is weird for a dude who goes to Japan all the time. Yeah, <laughs> Google Lens solves oh, all the problems. God. Anyway, Rise of the Ronin, good good times. Yeah, no, I'm really enjoying. It. I'm about sixty percent of the way through. Um, I was at the point where I was like, I'm not going to mainline it. I'm no, I'm I'm going to mainline it and finish it, and then I just keep getting drawn off to do to like pack cats. I swear, shit. this exact level was in Ghost of Tsushima. Yeah, it looks very similar. Like this People exact keep, level. You know what? People keep. Uh, so it's not a level. There is no level. But well, this exact base area, area. And yeah. People keep trying to compare this to um, Ghost of Tsushima. I'm like, stop, because it's a completely different game. Gameplay, yes, but it doesn't yeah. look very similar. But it's it, well, pff, how many? You mean, and you say that about every game that's set in like 19th century, no, 18th century Japan. Samurai Pizza Cats was very different. Trust me. Wasn't yeah, it wasn't set in the 1800s. Yes, it was. Was From it really? the futuristic yeah. 1800s? Oh God. From what I've heard of this one, and you'll be able to confirm this, Floppy, mm-hmm. having played both. I'll confirm it. Uh, Why's Jack Sparrow there? <laughs> this is very similar to Ghost of Tsushima meets Breath of the Wild. This is Assassin's Creed in Japan. Okay. That's it's, the, it's the easiest. Yeah, it's it's, the the selling point for it's me, but. actually the Assassin's Creed game I've wanted for years. I've always, and I think I'm not alone. Like everyone's been going, like, why don't they do an Assassin's Creed? Seriously, in it's Japan? Jack yeah, 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 I know it looks like that. It's very customizable in the characters too. It's really cool. You can change what you're wearing all the time. Um, Breath of the Wild, in like the amount of stuff that you pick up and can change between, and it's really easy to do as well. And you get a lot of gold poo. So. You can go really deep into the stats and everything if you want, but you don't have to. Which is kind of nice because sometimes you want to go deep into stats and change out things and right. abilities from your weapons and other times you just want to play the game. Hmm. And it doesn't really um, penalise you for doing either. You know what it should penalise you for? Having a robot penis. No, oh. it should <laughs> wipe those blades. Like, oh, you do. There is something. literally a button press to do that. Okay, you need That's to, cool. otherwise it rusts your steel. So Assassin's you, Wee. But you don't do it while you're fighting. <laughs> Michael there's, Towns, a, there's, a, there's actually a little bar. Sorry, no. Ma- Michael Towns in the live chat. That is probably your best call ever. For those of you who are listening to the podcast, uh, Michael Towns, our beloved producer level Patreon, comes up with gems sometimes, or a lot of the time in our live chat. Mm-hmm. And he's just come up, as we're talking about uh, uh, this game, Rise of the Ronin, called it Assassin's Weeb. Amazing. There is, so a pleasure, the there is a pleasure district that you quite often visit. Oh, really? Yeah. Do you wear a fedora? Is that everyone quite often yeah. visits or just you? <laughs> uh, just oh, I mean when I have a break from the game. <laughs> in the chat as well, Dylan the Villain also pointing out there is actually an Assassin's Creed in Japan yes, game yes, coming. Yeah, Assassin's, Assassin's Creed, Creed Red. 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 <laughs> Not that we know a huge amount about it yet. But yeah, no, this is game is wonderful. It is great. It is not Ghost of Shima. It's not supposed to be the um, sort of spectacle... Uh, stylistic choice that that is like it's a different thing they just then that's not what they're trying to be mm. it is trying to be well trying to be is Assassin's Creed in Japan like this, I don't know how to so, say any better question I've got yeah um, so one of the things that took me out of Ghost of Tsushima was it Jack Sparrow it's, it's the stupidest <laughs> stupidest reason to take you out of the game yeah but Japan like Japan's an island yes uh, but when you travel through the different areas of jam, Japan of jam jam uh on uh, Ghost of Tsushima, the seasons change really quick. <laughs> like it goes from autumn to summer to spring to winter uh, in just the different areas, and it's like, yeah, Japan's not that big that it, it has four different uh, seasonal variations in one day. Is that the same in this game? Well, no, you sort of just it doesn't really it doesn't really doesn't, have seasons. It doesn't really have seasons. Like you go to different places see, and stuff and look that. differently, and like nighttime, daytime, and you'll get rain and, and sunny weather and things like that. But it doesn't specifically go oh, autumn now. Do you get purple rain? Uh, only purple rain. Purple rain. Only when Prince comes along. Um, this is Assassin's Creed Red. Well, he's yeah. dead floppy. Bit of respect. I have. All I'm pretty the, sure all, Assassin's all Creed Red has been like in development in some shape or form for a while. Like I remember there was meant to be like a Vita spin-off. In like 2012. No, so there was a Vita. There was three Vita games. Okay. One in China, one in Russia, one in India. 
Okay, I might be getting the... They were side-scrollers. Well, two and a half Based D. in China, confused. Yeah. But still highly recommend? Highly recommend. If you enjoy Assassin's Creed, if you enjoyed Horizon Zero Dawn, if you enjoyed Assassin's Creed, if you enjoyed Breath of the Wild, and you like Samurai slash Ninja slash just Japan in general, yes, excellent game. Really, I like it that it accommodates people that just like to play casually and it also accommodates people that like to get real deep into the nitty gritty this was made by it's either tecmo koei or team ninja or ninja theory it i think was, it's ninja it was theory the people who made neo yes yeah so it, it's it's going to be tuned for people who like difficult stuff with as you no. said a more approachable no. difficulty setting. because you can play it on easy that's what i mean like it's got difficulty settings but it's yeah made by a team whose pedigree is making hard stuff but yes but yeah no it's and i've never i haven't i've found bits of it challenging but not that I've ever had to go back more than two or three times to do an area. Okay, cool. Anto. Hello. What have you been playing? Uh, I have been playing, to nobody's surprise, uh, I'm still on the Final Fantasy VII Rebirth train. Um, I'm 206 hours in. Do you do a cool flip off it? How? Yes. Uh, I'm Has there been that many waking hours? <laughs> I'm going for the platinum on it. Um, yeah, <laughs> I'm doing a hard mode playthrough now. I'm at chapter 12 of 14. Um... Hard mode's only real difference is you have to actually master the block, the dodge, really know the material layouts, all that stuff. <laughs> and here stuff. it is. <laughs> this it is isn't Rebirth. Um, no, this this is the hard mode. To save everyone time and bleh. Uh, I go. bought Monopoly Plus for like $12 on PlayStation 4. 12 bucks. Yeah, discount. Um, you know, that kind of thing. And that's a discount? Yeah, I was going to say. It was meant to be 18, so I did pretty well. Um, Not really. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, Coda and I have been playing this for the last couple of days. Like, literally just decided, you know what? We're going to play it because we watched the Game Grumps play it and it was hilarious. She is ruthless. Yeah. I've lost she does both not... games and Coda has won both games with every single property. Do you know why that is? Property. It's probably because you keep banging on the table. I can't help it. Passionate. This is robot penis. Yeah. It's my robot penis. Can I ask you a question about rebirth? And this is not me taking a piss. This is a yes. legitimate question. Well, you so can't have a robot penis. You <laughs> so you're playing through now on the hard mode to get the platinum. Yes. After just finishing it on, I'm assuming normal mode. Or uh, I gave it about three days before I jumped into hard mode. If there wasn't a platinum, mm. do would you still do it? Yep. Straight away on hard mode. Like, do you enjoy it that much? Like, because yep. to me, like, doesn't matter how much I enjoy the game, I could not go and play it again straight away. Like, I'd need something different. Yeah, no, absolutely. Um, that is interesting. Even stuff like Dark Souls, I will go back to and just do different builds and play it for the challenge because it's just fun. Because it's quite often, to me, I, I crave, like, the next new thing. Yeah. As I, I try to balance, like, my interests with things that I might like to play. So I don't buy every release that comes out like I know some people do. Um, yeah. just because, you know, people, as you say, like some people like to move on to the next thing when they're done with like a casual playthrough. Yeah. And that's totally fine. Just like Cloud did when Tifa, uh, not Tifa died, when <laughs> Aerith died. Well, I'm not going to say anything because, you know. In the original. Weeks. Um, yeah, no like spoilers. for me, obviously the source material to me is super important. So yeah. that's one of the reasons why I've been able to go straight back into it. Hard mode is that much harder and that much more of a challenge. Is it still it fun? Different. Yeah, absolutely. Why are they in the portal chamber? Yeah, I did see that. And why is Sephiroth that looks really pretty. so insanely hot? I don't know. Uh, the answer to the second question, he is a gorgeous man. Yeah, what's going uh, on there? Sephiroth, the first, yeah, Sephiroth, Sephiroth is stunning and Cloud is a little twink. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And I, I would let them put me in a sandwich and wow, okay. do things to me. Okay. <laughs> yeah. wow. I don't find Sephiroth attractive. Really? No, because he just gives off asshole vibes. No, yeah, no, no, no. See, if you play <laughs> and that's Rebirth... Not, and that's not attractive. If you play Rebirth, it opens up before Sephiroth turned bad. Mm. And he's a great dude. Is he? Yeah. Then how did he become such a wanker? Because he found out that he's he was... He's the product of biological research and an alien. Yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah. He got alien of him. <laughs> yeah. He got probed. He got alien ant farm. Back Ooh. from the 90s. Look at those little fucking naked mole rats. And they're classic song, Sephiroth, are you okay? Are you okay? Are you <laughs> no, okay? No, no, Sephiroth, Aerith, are you okay? <laughs> actually fits. Yeah. She's um, not, the, by the way. She got stabbed with a sword. Anyway. Yeah. But no, it's, yeah, it's great. And like, I also am the sort Jesus. of like masochistic player who will bash my head against a really tough challenge until I get it. I don't get frustrated. Really? Yeah. I don't see. I don't get frustrated. I'll get bored. Yeah, I don't get bored either. Because every yeah. time I tried something different, man, get, you should play God of War. I get nah, sweary. God of War's boring. 
You just fucking said you don't get bored. <laughs> no, but God of War is boring. It is. It should be called God of War. I don't get bored with things I enjoy is probably the best way to put it. Brayden, got a hot take? I like God of War. That's not a hot You're take. You're allowed to. Okay. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at everyone getting along. Oh, shit. I had something else to say and I forgot what it was now. Um, was it how good Monopoly was? <laughs> yeah, probably. Oh, uh, and you were thinking about you were watching Twin Peaks? Great time. No, no. The other thing is that I've been playing a game called Remnant from the Ashes. Oh, I saw that. Uh, this is a third person procedurally generated souls shooter is the best way to describe it. Damn. Um, so the world is randomly generated when you first load in. Uh, so you never get the same bosses uh, on each playthrough. I mean, obviously, there's a limited pool of ones that you can run into. But each playthrough, they'll appear in a different place. Um, I've been playing through this with a buddy of mine, and I think we're only like 20 hours in. We've already finished one campaign, and we just rolled straight into the next because, again, you know, randomly generated bosses and level layouts and stuff have just made it really, really fun. It's like Borderlands meets Dark Souls is the best way to put it. I do like Borderlands. Don't like Dark Souls. Um, that's, a, that's a good way to describe this. Yeah, it's really fun. Like you, you get like checkpoints that are similar to bonfires in that it resets the enemies that have spawned so you can farm kills and, and scrap materials and stuff, which are your currency. Um, we're currently going through it because we're both idiots who chase platinum trophies. Um there's a trophy that's based around how many like perks you can pick up. One of them requires you to get 100 kills with 10 different weapons. And we've just been like slowly making our way through with all these different weapon types and using counters on our phone to be like, bam, headshot, cool, tap, get a count going. Bam, headshot, get a count going. It's really fun. Um, it supports up to four players, which is super cool. Uh, and it scales based on how many people you've got playing, similar to Borderlands and other like co-op looter shooters and stuff. I think we picked it up for like, Eleven dollars on sale on PSN, it's maybe pretty, like pretty cheap. two or three months ago, and so far it's been absolutely worth the cost. Um, Remnant Two is apparently even better and was getting rave reviews like six months ago when it released. All right, so that's all the time we have for Hack the Dino. Thanks for joining us for the past two hours. Uh, we'll be back. Th- Look, uh, you asked me to talk about things. I'm going to talk about them. All right, uh, uh, Brad. <laughs> Hi. So in uh, 20 words or less, what have you... (laughs) (laughs) Well, no, I was just going to uh, just quickly uh, recommend that uh, since last episode, uh, Floppy had uh, recommended starting the Fallout TV show. Um, I proceeded to binge watch the entire thing. (laughs) It's really good. Yeah? Now you should try it without binge watching. It's even better. It's shockingly good. Um, so I've been back and playing Fallout New Vegas. Um, <laughs> this is H Bomber Guy's video on Fallout New Vegas, which is Never fantastic. Um, and I- I'm playing the Fallout games, much like a lot of people are. Um, so many people. Five because, million people were yep. concurrent on Steam the other day? The, uh, their, their player numbers completely spiked on Steam because as the show came out and was starting to get good reviews, they did a Steam sale on the entire Fallout franchise. Which meant, even for us here in Australia, I was able to get Fallout New Vegas with all the DLC and Fallout 4 with all the DLC for a total of $20. That's a nuts That's price. That's insane. I think Fallout 3 with all DLC was like 7 bucks, And like it's the most players they've ever had on Fallout 76 ever. Yeah, well, I think there's reasons for that. Didn't they say something like a million new players hit... 76 in like a day. Yeah. Yeah, it was that's crazy. <laughs> Ridiculous. Do they um, have uh, NPCs in there yet? Uh, they do now. Oh, good. Um, yeah, 76 is fixed and a good game now. <laughs> Quotation marks. Yeah, yeah, we could say that. But um, but yeah, I mean, it's just great fun to be back in that world. Um, and yeah, it, I can't recommend the show enough. It's really good. Can I tell you, as, a, as someone who knows a lot of people that work at EB Games, I can tell you... That they, in the last two weeks, that company has sold out of every copy of Fallout 4 in the country. Wow. Jesus. Which was selling for like four bucks. Wow. <laughs> Physically. Oh, because it is a last gen game. Wait, so. it came out in 2015. Yeah. yeah. Do you wow. get a free upgrade? Is that what? Uh, there they, is, uh, there is a fu- Oh, there is a free upgrade for it. You it's get the just next come out. But not if you own it via PlayStation Plus. That's a Ooh. bug they're fixing. Wow. Yeah. Are they fixing that? Yeah. Okay. Because if you got it via PlayStation Plus, where you got it for free, um, well. yeah, well, you got it for free because you, you you pay for the subscription. That is the realest the looking bonus. beard I've ever seen. Hey, this game came out in like twenty 
like 11, 10 maybe? This, this is a PS3 360 game. Yeah, I th- yeah New Vegas was either 10 or 11 because 8, uh, eight Fallout 3 was 2008, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the funniest thing I've seen about Fallout happening recently is all the new people trying out New Vegas for the first time are being led into the Deathclaw Quarry oh, by yeah. like experienced players. They're just like, yeah, you should go here. It's great. Oh, that's <laughs> so good. <laughs> what a cunty thing to do. That's, that's great. Hard. Um, what have you been playing, Ben? I, funnily enough, <laughs> have played anything. Shut the. <laughs> <laughs> that's not true. He played a phone game. That's right. I got downloaded an emulator called the IGBA, and it got taken off the store like uh, 24 hours later. So uh, do you still have it, or did it yeah, get I've still shut got it. down? No, I've still got it. Uh, really good little Game Boy uh, emulator for the Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color. I've uh, been playing Pokemon Red, Fire Red. Uh, and, and that's a wonderful game. It runs wonderfully on this app. I really like the fact... So my biggest gripe with emulators is, obviously, there's no buttons on your phone screen. But they've got uh, really good vibrations whenever you touch it. So it kind of feels like there are buttons, but can, there isn't. Can you get a clicky sound like when you're typing messages? No, 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 no. We can't do that. Um, but uh, then they brought out a new one, which you said you've had for a while, Anto Delta. Mm-hmm. Um, and that does all Nintendo games. I mean, not to like humble brag or anything, but if you want more emulators on your iPhone, just create a developer account, download Delta through the Alt Store, which is like the homebrew app. And then you can play like up to Dreamcast and PS2 on your iPhone. Wow. Or play on a Dreamcast. Uh, Afrenix in the chat, which one of the two apps is better? Uh, I'd say Delta because that's still available <laughs> on the store. Whereas uh, IGBA not is not. not what they asked. They asked which one was better. Um, I, not more available. Like for like. Um, I would say Delta purely because it's been in development for like six years. So it's a lot more stable. Yeah. And you can just look it up now. Delta, download it on your phone. Uh, and then uh, you, you might just... Um, Stumble... Oh, Afronex got IGBA. Oh, good. Afronex listened to me in the uh, Discord. First time for everything. Uh, Yes, I like IGBA. Uh, I think it's a really solid uh, Game Boy uh, emulator. Fire Red (laughs) runs beautifully. Um, Exactly like holding a Game Boy. Not to uh, not to state the obvious, but Dylan Vivillan has asked why it got taken down. My answer is going to be emulation and Nintendo. Actually, no. No? No. Really? It got taken down because they copied uh, some of the code off another emulator. Oh, yep. so they pirated their pirated thing. Yeah, <laughs> and they got punished for it. But, of course, iOS is now allowing emulators onto their store, yeah. which I don't know how long that's going to last because Nintendo are going to... Like, surely they go for the ROM sites, right? Well, if it's... The the weird thing with emulators and stuff is if it's created from scratch and the code doesn't borrow anything from the systems it is emulating mm. to run, it's 100% fine. Like because if it's its own thing, it's fine. Download the games from a different site. Yeah, so ROMs and stuff... So the emulator isn't doing anything wrong? No, no, no. It's, yeah. it's people who are dumping game files onto websites that either they don't own or sharing around stuff that is free. Mm-hmm. Um, which is the problem. Like, <coughs> technically speaking, I think, I can't remember the lawsuit, but there was a case in the US that happened in like 2010 or something um, where they successfully argued that emulators are fine and if you have the means to dump your own files from stuff you own, you can use those. Yep. As soon as those are given to someone else or shared, that's where the legality gets weird. Because you haven't paid the price. Because no one else has paid for it. Because like that's what you're doing yeah. when you're buying a physical thing. Is you're, you're buying the license to use it. Yeah, it's a physical card that lets you do the thing. Yeah. Whereas like, if you give that to someone else, that's when Nintendo can come in, slap you around the head and be like, no. And they will. And they will. And um, pretty you know sure what, there's a guy... So. It's their thing. Yeah, it is their thing. Pretty They're sure there's a guy still paying like fees now up until he dies because Nintendo sued him into the ground for selling ROMs. Yeah, he was made an example out yeah. of. Yeah. So, don't, don't give people stuff for free if it's nintendo all right we're gonna uh, also don't do it and then charge them that's also worse yeah yeah it's probably the best <laughs> just don't do it <laughs> yeah um only play backed up games from your own roms yeah is my like advice. we and, all do and do not look up roms on my iphone on uh your iphone browser don't do that do not get your iphone open the browser type up download roms uh do not click the download button and let it go into a folder on your phone and do not allow access of Delta to read that ROM. I cannot stress this enough. We do not recommend doing those steps. I feel like you're saying we should do that. Not through Safari, at least. Download Brave Browser. Yeah, Brave's great. I, I highly recommend Brave Browser. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Uh, it's just a different browser, but it hides your IP. Yeah, it's great. No reason. 
No reason I just at all. I don't do anything that needs to hide my IP. Yeah, you do. <laughs> do I? What do I do? I don't know. I've Floppy, you can't go around showing your IP in public. Mate, That's I right. show it to anyone. <laughs> I don't even need money. That's why it transforms. Half the time, they don't even ask. Okay, so... um, <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> hey, we're, we're doing a retro challenge this year, aren't we, Floppy? Sure are. What are, we, what are we doing? Well, at the start of the year, we all got 20 bucks. Yep. And the idea is that we buy... Things that are at least 15 year olds, which makes it what 20, 2009. 2009. And we sell, trade, or give away for some reason. No, we don't give away. We sell, barter, trade, haggle, haggle, barter uh, with those things to get more things. And then at the end of the year, we'll have a thing. One a thing. Cool each. thing. One thing. One thing sub- we'll submit one thing for voting. Okay. And then that thing gets voted on by you people as to who got the coolest thing. But then, once we've awarded the coolest thing, we all sell our things, mm-hmm. and all that money goes to Beyond Blue because it's an awesome charity. That's right. And when I get around to it, I will take photos of what we have up for grabs. So if you would like to purchase it... I've got one thing left. I have a couple, and one that I can't find. Yeah, that's hilarious. <laughs> I had uh, one of our listeners uh, come up to me, James. Uh, James was the one who helped us out with the amplifier at the live show. And he said, oh... Thank you, James. So I said, oh, you found anything? He goes, yeah, I'm just... I, I really, really just want a Hercules backpack. <laughs> <laughs> and I just looked him in smoke. The legendary journeys backpack? <laughs> no, no, it's the one I've got for the oh, okay. char- retro <laughs> he's, challenge. Well, he's that I can't find. Allegedly got. It's oh. around somewhere. I have no idea where I've put it. Um, I can't mate. believe you've lost it. It's, it, so, it's, it's going to be in the house. weirdest spot. It's here somewhere. Was that your foot that just tapped my knee? No. Floppy, put your penis <laughs> away. <laughs> uh Anyway, what Sorry, hang on a second. Penis retract. We What we did at the Adelaide Comic and Toy Fair, which we're going to talk about very <laughs> soon is we had a tub out the front. We did. With a sign explaining what the Retro Challenge is and uh, encourage people to purchase out of it. Of course, no one did because why would you? It's charity. Uh, so it was a slow blink and a, a disapproving look from uh, the two fathers on this panel. Yes. I hope you feel ashamed. How do you know I'm not a father? I'm uh, not, but... Well, How I do you know you're not? Yeah. What do you mean? How do you know you're not? Have you got your joke book? Yes. Oh, well, okay. You're well, a you are. So when you, when you become a father, you get a joke book in the mail. How do you know you haven't planted a seed that's mm. grown to fruition? You get I'm very picky. <laughs> you get a pun book sent to you via the government, and uh, that's where all the dad jokes come from. Oh, I just steal mine from Instagram. No, no, don't do that. Fucking no. Gen Z. I'm not Gen Z. I don't know which one. Anyway, what do you got at the moment, Floppy? Uh, so at the moment, I only have a cart of Yoshi's Touch and Go. Oh, cool. Which is, I'm selling for 10 bucks if anyone wants the cart. Wait, cart only? Yep, uh, cart damn only. Damn it, I really enjoyed Touch and Go. If it was cased, I'd buy it off you. Well, just buy it for 10 bucks no, and then you get it as a case. bargain. No, I don't know where to put loose cartridges. I'll give you a free case. No, because it won't have the artwork. Print it. Or the manual. Fuck it, it's going to charity. <laughs> don't no, be don't do that. <laughs> uh, ruin the manual, yes. do that. This afternoon, I sold my Animal Crossing. Um, I sold my Advance Wars last week. So I'm currently sitting on $85. Very nice. And nice. Yoshi's Touch and Go, which Ant will buy for $7. And nah. you started at 20 with the Lamb Before Time Puppets. Lamb Before Time Puppets. And I have my next purchase lined up. That's You've amazing. quadrupled and a bit your money. Yes. That's and pretty I, good. my next one is going to do more so. Do I already know what I'm getting with it? I've got a, I've got a purchase lined up. That's amazing. Anto, how are you going with it? Uh, currently, I have twenty dollars. Nice, which is the initial twenty dollars that was given to good, me. Good, good. And charity can have a couple of crisp high fives because I haven't had a chance to buy. Or you could yet. just give them the twenty bucks. Like I'm just. Like, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> so I'm, twenty bucks is mine. I'm not, <laughs> high five to you, star. I'm like, no, no, I'm not saying the twenty dollars is mine. High five to the mine. mentally ill people. Oh, well, you know that'll make them feel better. I'm just saying. Why when you, I find well, he's something. dabbing the side of his mouth with his twenty dollar bill. <laughs> yeah. Why would I wipe someone else's money on my face? Oh, just to rub it in. Anyway, you were saying uh, Ooh, Scrooge. Yucky. I was <laughs> Scrooge. Hey, if I was Scrooge, I'd give all that money to charity. No, so. you wouldn't. You'd have a big money pit. No, nah, I don't like Dive capitalists. In yeah. and, but then get concussed <laughs> because that stuff isn't like... It's, it's not like liquid that you dive yeah. into. You would go splat. Yeah, you would. Yeah, you would die. Scrooge or you'd end up die. with like a couple of coins embedded in your forehead like in Matt Simpson's episode. Oh, that'd be cool. Yeah. But wait, do you have an idea of what you would like to do with your 20 bucks? Yes. I am trying not to like... Similar to the fantasy critic discussion we had earlier... I'm trying not to do the thing where I go, hmm, that's something that I would want and I know I would buy. I'm trying to sort of stick to more general like stuff that's a little older, so like comic books or Nintendo style stuff. Where are stuff. you looking? What do you mean? 
for things. Oh, uh, as in, I thought you were like, where am no, I No, no, not, not right camera? now. I mean, like, in general. <laughs> um, Are you trying to do a, like, strictly online thing? No, or? no. So, I went to Battery World, uh, which rant incoming about Battery World and statues. Do you mean battery? No, battery. Don't know what that means. Was it's like a e salt. Between the T and it's the like R. A, it's like anyway. All right, children. <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah, I went on a wander to find a specialist battery for a statue. Mm-hmm. So I went to a cash converters I'd never been to before, and it Which one? sucked. It was Which a Glyn. Oh. oh! It was dingy oh. and dirty. Oh. And how was dingy. how was how was the customer service? I didn't speak to anyone. How did so did you get a tetanus shot? <laughs> did you get a tetanus shot afterwards? Luckily, I've had all my vaccinations. Good. Oh man. Um, Good. Yeah. No. So I've I've had a few sort of look sees here and there in places like cash converters. Um, <laughs> Don't do that, Raiden. <laughs> Um, that as, grumpy old shit will sue us. As I'm sure everyone in the the Discord and people watching know, I've spent the last like two months moving and mm. paying rent for two properties, which sucked. Um, so I haven't really had a chance to do a lot. Um, but from here on out, I've got a bit more freedom to do things. So I'm going to start looking in places like Savers, try and find like random independent owned op shops, that kind of thing. Yeah. And just keep my eye out for stuff in person. And if I absolutely have to, I will resort to eBay and Marketplace and stuff. Um, I would say probably not eBay, but Marketplace and Gumtree you might good, find. Yeah, market, I'd say I don't use Gumtree, but I probably should. Gumtree's dead. Don't worry yeah, about okay, Gumtree. Cool. No, but that's the thing. No one else, <laughs> looks, at, <laughs> no, no one else looks at Gumtree. <laughs> right, you'll get us taken off the air. That's, no, a that's, pretty, that's a pretty low rating there, my guy. Yeah. It's because the owner is can such we a read a review? Can person. we read any one-star one reviews there? Or? Oh, let me see. Uh, <laughs> well, while you're looking at that, Brad, I'll talk about what I've got. Uh, I managed to sell... <laughs> Sorry! What? There's a one-star review that starts with, I think the older man might have had laryngitis. <laughs> Whoa. What a review. No, he doesn't talk to anyone. Even when you directly speak to him, he just won't talk to you. Oh. He's the grumpiest old shithead. And then he's hired another old man who's like a bit more friendly, a bit more chatting. Um, Is he the guy with the ponytail? No, 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 no. It was another old grumpy old man. And he said hello when I went in there last. And uh, then they started standing at the counter just... Being casually racist, so oh, that's those guys. Yeah, Holy super yeah. fun okay. time. To wow. go there. Yeah. I just realised we haven't got to the topic yet. No, <laughs> no, we're, we're we're running behind schedule. So uh, I sold my ghost goosebumps, 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 goosebumps <laughs> board game that I bought for five dollars. Sold it for fifty. Uh, so I now have a total of seventy-seven dollars. Nice. Yeah, Braden, what do you got? I managed to sell some stuff. Hey. The... Where did you get screenplays? Um, so. Sorry. These I've been uh, just sort of finding in op shops here and there. I love a good Weird. screenplay, finding little like script books. Um, so like they print them like, you know, for like anyone to buy at like a Oh, so it's not like not someone, the from, Jesus. someone from a movie set no. dumped them at an op shop. Okay. No, so okay. just them printing confused. them so that people can like look through them themselves. Um, so I, I, I made a set of three. And uh, managed to sell them for thirty bucks. You did well um, done. And so, uh, Reservoir Dogs, Train Spotting, and an Akira Kurosawa collection went what? to a lovely person who's. Uh, he was very excited as well. Yeah, sick. Oh, um, was that at the toy fair? Yeah. yeah, I think I saw that. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I did the sale. So uh, thank you, Ben, for that, You're and uh, thank cut. you to that person for the uh, thirty dollars for charity. I, I, I can't really like Anto made so, made, made me so much. money. I think money. I made you like <laughs> so much over money. a grand. <laughs> Anto made me so much money on the weekend. Yep. If you and ever I, uh, want to find Ben at the toy fair, just don't look at the dino table. I <laughs> and I uh, I sold a comic for a gold coin donation. Oh, cool. I did that one for you. You did. Thank you very much. You came over and slipped me a gold coin, and I was like, that's weird. Surreptitiously. But um, yeah, it was, a, it was a great weekend. Loved it. Uh, all right. Well, let's talk about the uh, Adelaide Comic and Toy Fair. Um, it was, I think, the busiest one ever. Like, this is 10 years in now. This they, is the 10th uh, year. Uh, Brett did say it was the biggest turnout they'd have. Yeah. They've had. Uh, and people came to buy stuff. Yeah. I like, found the first hour... Was the busiest I've ever seen the first hour. Mm. Yeah, there were so many early bird purchases this yeah, year. Yeah, I well, think that was the best thing they've For those of you who don't know what the owner, Brett, does, who's been on the show, friend of the show, uh, he uh, sells a limited amount of tickets, I think 100 tickets or 200 tickets for people to come in an hour before the doors open. And you know those are the people that are there to spend money. That's yeah. what they're there for. Yeah, and those are also the people who get really, really angry because jerks like us get in there the day before to set up and go around buying everything. Hey. 
what we do. It's a ticket for the leftovers, basically. You'd be first in line for leftovers. That is. Um, so, yeah, this, this show was great. Like, there's big... One thing that Brett's really, really focused on is having really wide... Uh, walkways so people yes. like with people it's who cramps great. can get past and people aren't blocked off there's it's always a way around kids Very on welcoming. scooters yeah uh, kids on scooters yeah you almost mate I went him. dad mode on that kid yeah that kid was going around everywhere oh I got him and I got him uh, good yeah the people there were really well mannered um, there was a little bit of bartering but nothing it's a fair it's meant to be yeah but like nothing nothing huge like people no, were nothing, asking yeah. five nothing to ten bucks nothing yeah. insulting like remember last year Anto I got a call from Anto. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I had a uh, Link's Awakening on the Game Boy. And oh, I got yeah. a call from Anto saying, oh, the guy wants to know how, how you can do on the uh, game. And I think I had it for 60 bucks, which is a pretty yeah, good price. Yeah, it was car only, but in really good condition. I think yeah. you had it for 65 and the guy lowballed me with like a 25. Yeah. Like, and I was like, nah, I'm going to well, call him and find out. <laughs> <laughs> so Anto calls me and goes, oh, what's your best price on that? And I said, oh, look, I could probably go 60 on it. Uh, and he goes, oh, he wants to know if you want to go 25. And I said, put him on. I'm going to tell him to go fuck himself. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> no, Anto wouldn't put him on. No, oh, I, I figured oh, it's probably man. best for Ben not to get into an altercation and fly over a table and kick this dude. No, I was on the other side of the hall. Exactly. You would have flown over several tables. <laughs> <laughs> what a rude uh, But yeah, like, uh, anyway, that aside, this show was really good. Let's have a look at what we got. Floppy, you want to kick it off? I will kick it off. Uh, so I've got... Uh, well, I've got most of my stuff here. I, went, I was really reserved this year. I sold a lot uh, more to than a I bought. To a certain point. No, no, I was still really reserved. Really? Like I, I reckon you went bananas at the I end. I bought like four things. Yeah, but they were really high end. You bought four things, but one of those things just happened to be like a complete set of ten things. Yeah, yeah, but that's it. That's one <laughs> thing that's done. All right, so what have you got? Okay, I'm with so, Floppy. That's one thing. Okay, yeah, that's one thing. <laughs> it was one purchase. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> uh, so first and foremost, I picked up this Dreamcast copy of Legacy of Kane Soul Reaver, which is in immaculate condition, book and everything. Really cool. Um, and I do love that game, and I love that character and everything like that. So I'm very happy to have that. And I do want to get more stuff for my Dreamcast, which is, I can see Anto nodding in Just approval. Burn it. I've got a whole collection of burnt ones, but okay. I like having yeah, I real ones of things. There are also two risks um, to doing that, which I'll go over. I I'll got a copy of Castlevania right here off of Game Boy Dad. Game, Game Boy, Boy Dad. Game Boy Dad. <laughs> Thank you very much for that. At some point, I'll see if I can find a manual. If not, I'm not too stressed. Um, I got Armored Core off of Anto. Thank you, Anto. Um, and then I only had two other purchases. Mm. One which is in front of me right here. Which, yes, it was a bit of a pricier purchase, but it is worth it. So what you can see down there is a generation one... Ge generation? I generation. Turned into, generation. Turned into Jonathan Wasps. Uh, wibble wobble generation. four eggs. <laughs> yes. <laughs> turned into <laughs> fucking wibble wobble four eggs. Um, generation one, 1984, uh, Optimus Prime, complete with roller and his little hose. Um, I had some spare fists at home, which were great. I've just got to get a replacement rifle. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about it. fists and hoses, I, what's going on here? I saw that disapproving look, Brandon. Oh, it wasn't disapproving. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, we'll talk later. And, and the missiles, and it was great because my Optimus Prime at home, I have a relatively large Transformers collection. Floppy has every G1. No, I, no, he doesn't. Well, you got almost all of them. Why mm. did you refer to yourself in third person? <laughs> I liked that. <laughs> <laughs> also, Generation One Transformer Optimus Prime. <laughs> um, I probably got about seventy percent of the That's Generation Ones, and they're all in really good condition. Um, they so are mostly because I've been very picky with which ones I bought. Jazz and I were over Floppy's house the Friday night before helping him put Lego sets together yeah. to sell, and I just said to Floppy, "Are there any that you are missing?" And Floppy said, "Oh yeah, Optimus Prime G1 Optimus Prime." <laughs> I'm like, "I've got what? A, I, so I bought a, a like a re-release." Yeah. In early 2000s because I wanted one and I didn't it was at the time I couldn't afford an original. Mm. So, uh, and that just blew me away. So when I was doing my many rounds because yeah. one of the things you have to do if I know you is let me know what you collect because I crave that dopamine hit and it's either collecting for me, collecting for charity or collecting mm. for friends. If I find something it's like, "Yes, cool." And I let people know. But uh, just a quick one, Brayden. If you could, on another screen, just get up my Instagram. My latest post has got my other purchase on it. Oh, amazing! Um, but yeah, so I was really happy to be able to replace one of the only remakes that I've got left in my connection collection. There's a couple, I think, two more other ones that I've got to replace. Till they're all OGG ones, uh, which is really cool. So I don't know, I'll probably move on my remake of Optimus Prime at some point for charity. So if you want to, 
I mean, I'd have to purchase it from myself. But yeah, okay, there's those games. If you click over to the last picture, I got... Whoa. Thank you to Ben for finding it. The entire run Again. of Batman Returns carded figures and vehicles. You now, guys- I'd, I'd picked up two of those previously on their own. So I have now two doubles, which I'll move on. Um, but yeah, whole collection in one go. Done. I saw this behind someone's table. Uh, and went, yeah, floppy clicks that. Then sent me a photo and I went and fucking couldn't find the thing and was like insisted that it was not there and it's been sold. Yeah, I'm pretty sure at that point you both were like, Anto, watch the stall and just ran off. <laughs> no, no, I just gave my money to Ben and went, no, go, yeah, fine, yeah, buy. Just gave me a $100 note and said, yeah, go find it. Go find, buy. Yep. Um, and he went and found it and bought it. Yep. So, yeah, I was, I was super happy. I, was, I found that I was very refined. I didn't come home with 15 games. I didn't come home with things. I came home very... Oh, the other one thing I got was um, Sunstreaker. I don't know if I can see him down what? here. So, oh, the yeah, there we go. So he's a uh, he's what's called a masterpiece. So they went back and they've released a bunch of the Transformers, but in a higher grade and a and a larger model, so that they are more cartoon accurate. A Lamborghini Countach. Yeah, and he's Sunstreaker. His brother is Sideswipe, who was a red one. I've got Sideswipe. Um, very very cool. Because um, the G ones in robot mode. Did not always look like they did in the cartoon. No, they did not. Which is big, like... You Especially would... those ones, because, like, you, you folded them down and pulled them back. And yeah. the gimmick was you pulled them back and they go forward as a car and then jump up and they're in robot. But Definitely not those up, ones, but there are other ones that oh, did is that. It? Yeah. Oh, okay, but, yeah, I just had that one. Like, it popped up and then its head flew off and, well, the, the canopy There was flew two off. of those. Yeah. They were... That was not those guys, though, but there are two of those that do that. These guys, um, like, so, because they were small and they were, you know, it was 1984 engineering. They had to make toys. They had to make them on the Oh, they did cheap. well. They Bloody did hell. great. Yeah. But they've gone back and made masterpieces, so they're quite a bit larger. And they still transform them into the vehicles, but then when they transform to cartoon or robot mode, they are way more cartoon accurate, and it's fuck, they're impressive. Man, we talk about video games in the show. But yeah, that's what I got. Yeah, I mean, we talk about pop culture and, and toys and you, you, things. You got games, didn't you? I got Game uh, two, two games two and games? two figurines. Uh, I think that was... Oh, no, wait. I got two games, two figurines, and a console. Um, so thanks to friend of a show, Game Boy Dad, um, I traded uh, a copy of Tales of Vesperia on Xbox 360 for a Master System with all of its cables and controllers. That's amazing. That's really good. Yeah. Like, you know, he just wanted it for his personal collection. So... You know, I figured I need a master system. Why not? Um, so, yeah, I'm going to give that a clean. I mean, it's in pretty good nick anyway, but I want to just take it apart, make sure it's all good and stuff. Um, I don't know which one it is. Uh, it's for Master System 2, but there were two releases of this system. Uh, one had Sonic the Hedgehog built in, and the other one has Alex Kidd built in. Ooh. So until I power it on, I won't know which is which. Ooh. Um, It'll be like, what's in this Wii? <laughs> yeah, what's in this Wii? Da, 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 da. Um, I also picked up, speaking of Wii, uh, the last story. Um, this one is an interesting one for me uh, because the creator and producer of Final Fantasy, uh, Hironobu Sakaguchi, this was one of his last console games before he pivoted to making uh, NFTs. mobile games. <laughs> I was about to ask you what made you buy that because you really have been quite strict on just buying Final Fantasy and Sonic. Yeah, so that's the main reason. It was like his last sort of big hurrah making a console game yeah, right. uh, outside of Square Enix because it's not a Square game. Because um, he split off Clearly from rectangular. Ha <laughs> ha. Square soft, Square Enix. Square hard. Um, yeah, so Hironobu Sakaguchi left, I think it was just after Final Fantasy X launched back in 2001. Um, and yeah, it's just one of those games that is also very expensive, very hard to find because it had a really, really low print run in the US and in uh, PAL territories. Um, there was a big petition what? in 2009. It's okay, we don't need to go into it. What kind of gameplay is it? Yeah, oh, it's like a real-time action, hack and slashy kind of cool. arena-based right. And RPG. what about the statues that you got there? Uh, statues are boxed Vincent Valentine and Tifa Lockhart figurines from the Advent Children line from 2005 you um, take them out? no you don't love them I've already got several of them out on my shelf and I don't have room for these okay so don't you dare they take up less space out of the box just saying um, they don't actually <laughs> Oh. The amount of accessories. All right, and move on. Holy shit! I love what? watching Ben go. Come this. on! I'm doing this on purpose to make Ben I go know. nuts. <laughs> um, so yeah, got those two. I now own like 75 percent of the line, which is great. And I also picked up Power Stone on my Dreamcast, which is uh, not the precursor to, but similar to Smash Brothers in that it's like a party oh, really? fighting game. I didn't um, actually heard of it. It's just an arena fighter with like an isometric perspective instead of it being a 2D 
fight it with 3D models. Um, super fun. Cool. Yeah. Fighting. Just good. <laughs> I'm going to play footage of Power Stone while um, I read what I got. Because okay. I got comics! Yay! <laughs> comics! Woo! Uh, yeah, I, uh, I I wasn't going too crazy. Uh, I didn't do my usual, like, you know, bringing $500 in cash ready to absolutely splurge. I was like, no, nah, if I sell some stuff, I'll go and buy some stuff and treat myself. And I did. I got um, some early Black Panther issues for my Black Panther collection. Was nice. that the priest run? Uh, yeah, uh, no, before that. Uh, right. So, uh, back to OG stuff. So, some stuff from his first solo series, Cold Black Panther. And then I think I got two jungle actions um, from when he like first was doing his own stories. Um, one day, would like to get the Fantastic Four first appearance of Black Panther, but that's an expensive book. He first appeared in Fantastic Four? Yeah. Yep. Huh, yeah, yeah. Right. number six. How expensive? Six? How expensive? Uh, I feel like it's early. Oh, I mean, I can look it up if you want. No, I'm pretty sure it's number lot. six because Doctor Doom was number four. Ye- that huh. sounds. I never similar. would have picked that as his first appearance. Um, yeah. And then I also picked up uh, the first issue of Spider Woman's solo run, but not her first appearance. Just like her first, her own book. Her own book. Um, was that from he- Sam? Uh, yes, it was. <laughs> um, so shout out to Sam. Gave me a great deal. Legend. Um, but yeah, Black Panther first appearance was Fantastic Four number fifty-two. Oh, there you go. I was completely wrong. From nineteen sixty-six. <laughs> Ooh, damn. that's where you got the six from. Yeah, there you go. There, that, that yep. must be it. That's it. Um, but that's if we go <laughs> value and we look up what it's been selling for lately, oh my god, Fantastic Four number fifty-two. Uh, last sold for. Needed. I mean, no, its no, record no, sale no, was sixty-five thousand. Sorry, what? Its record sale was sixty-five thousand. Yep. Cool. Wait, hang on. Save it again. Sixty-five thousand. Jesus Christ, <laughs> that's expensive. Big, it big, is big uh, money. A drop in the ocean. Drop that's in the right. ocean. Yeah, it's a good time. Uh, what so, I here? all right, I got um, uh, I got uh, WWE Survivor Series on the Game Boy Advance for four dollars, and I got uh, one of the Yu-Gi-Oh games for three dollars. Uh, that one there sells for like forty bucks. Jeez. So, that was that was good. Are you gonna keep them? Uh, we'll see. Do I got uh, this acrylic case for my Chrono Trigger uh, that, that from Ultimate Collectibles. Is fucking awesome! It's really cool. Uh, I'm really impressed with it. It Was only about thirty bucks. Um, the guys from Ultimate Figures are really cool guys. Uh, I need to pick up some stands next time they're down. Um, I got you can see down the front here a yellow PSP, which I got that, and this Game Boy DS. I swapped with one of the guys who I see at the markets all the time. He's a comic book guy. I just happened to have like five comics that I paid two to three dollars for each. Uh, I said, hey, you want to do a trade? And he went, yep. And I grabbed uh, the PSP and the DSi for five comics. Uh, Got the Simpsons game with it as well. Uh, You can see at the front, it wasn't part of the fair precisely, but before the fair, I went on a little journey. Mystery Dungeon? Yeah, I got Mystery Dungeon for 20 bucks, but I also got E.T. on the Atari. (laughs) Oh, shit. I didn't even notice that. I picked that up earlier. I got that for 10 bucks. Didn't you have it boxed? No, so it was a manual, not a box. Oh, I see. So okay. I grabbed it because I already had that game, but I didn't have the manual, so it was ten bucks. I went, all right, yeah, I'll grab that. Um, then from King Kaiju, I got uh, these are from Japan. It's one of the original mangas that uh, uh, the Mario mangas and little uh, I don't know what they are, plastic figurines. Ichiban Kuji stuff? No, not Ichiban Kuji. They're uh, just little figurines that you could buy. But you oh, can see Mario. Yeah, sort of like that, but not really. Like okay. they came. They, they weren't in Gatchapon machines, but that sort of thing. The little, okay. little single color toys you can get. Uh, also got these uh, Menko discs, which are basically Tarzos, but they were official Nintendo ones Ooh, from Japan. Um, yeah, I'm trying to get a good, good <laughs> angle there. Uh, then also like Brandon... You a bunch of comics. I bought heaps of comics. This was a comic book toy fair for me because there wasn't really a lot of game stuff that I was really keen for. You'd have nearly everything you're after anymore. I, now, I, I you? really do. Like yeah. the stuff that I'm after is sort of the the really high end stuff, which I'll get to eventually. But I got uh, I don't even know if I have this one or not, but it's a spidey issue with the green goblin on the front. You can let go. I've got it. And no, so I'm no, no, I'm not so fucking nervous. Uh, Literally just trying to help. Uncanny X Men seventy three. I got this for se- uh, for five dollars because it's a big chunk right. out of the cover, but for five bucks. What for was a, that ad on the back? Uh, I don't know. Like, I uh, love these. Make money, get prizes. <laughs> So, got a whole bunch of old early X Men comics. I got Dino Riders number two because I have issue one. There were only three of these issues. So, That's I just cool. need issue three. That'll go on my Dino Rider cabinet. 
I got Uncanny X Men 34, 35, and 36. That is like sick. The original run, the really old school one. But the best part is, I've wanted this comic ever since I started collecting comics. Issue number 35 <clears throat> is the first meeting between the X Men and Spider Man. That's cool. And that is a Hell really yeah. cool comic that I've wanted for a long, long time. And I got it for a super good price. Uh, another issue of Uncanny, which is really good condition. This is issue 102. Look how good that condition is. Have you read these before? Oh, that's when he tried to fix his thing and grew extra and arms. And grew extra arms, yeah. <laughs> what? He tried to reverse his mutation and ended up making it like more spider-like. And then perhaps Shot the one that sort of shocked me that I hadn't been snapped up before. Oh, yeah. Like I couldn't believe it. And I'm sitting there looking at it. And I asked the guy, is that actually a first edition print? And he went, yeah, it is. Um, it is... Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number four of the original release, first print. There Crazy. was only literally a handful. Like I said literally. There wasn't literally a handful. There were only a few of these made, uh, the first six issues. And uh, you know the movie? Mm -hmm. It's This is what it was based off. That's cool. Um, yeah. So I got this for $100. Uh, and someone turned the magic off. I was going to say, do not adjust your TV screens. It it's really because, is monochrome green. Because the title on there is green. Oh. So I wanted them to see that it's actually correct. Oh, now you can see my subway cut. Uh, <laughs> you're revealing the magic. Anyway, last one of them. So I bought it for 100 bucks because I thought, you know, I'd sold some uh, very expensive cardboard that day, so I decided to you're treat welcome. myself. Yeah, thank <laughs> Sold a Charizard for three hundred and forty bucks. Um, last one of them sold for three hundred dollars online. That's a good price then, if that's the case. Yeah, I had no idea they were worth that much. So, oh yeah, is that the last thing that you've got to show? Uh, oh no. So I decided to treat myself. I decided to treat myself. Uh, the essential massage. Forgetting the book that I found you too. Oh yeah, sorry. Anto found me a book. <laughs> um, where is it? Here, just here. It's a Legend of Zelda kids storybook, choose your own cool. adventure type thing. Uh, so Anto found that. I went over. They usually go for about 40, 50 bucks. And I said to the guy, how much? And he went $10. And I said, yes, thank you. Uh, and then afterwards, I decided I was going to purchase something for myself. Now, I don't know if I've mentioned this before on the show, but I kind of like the game called Chrono Trigger. What now, Trigger? Chrono Trigger. Never heard of oh, it. I'll talk to you about it after. Is she cute? Um, very. This, as, as we can see, was, was my uh, charity... Hunt winner it was not thing. for yes. charity. No, fuck off. Oh. <laughs> that was, was the retro my challenge charity. winner last year. Thank you, Anto. I only, so I've got the DS versions, the Japanese releases, the Japanese release of the Super Famicom. I've got pretty much every release of Chrono Trigger besides the original one where the Akira Toriyama cutscenes were put God, in. God, you're worse than me with Final Fantasy VII. Move it on. <laughs> got a point. <laughs> got a point. He's got you. I'm totally kidding. Thank, thanks for stealing my thunder. Here we are. You can't see it because of the green uh, OB down the side, but I have got the Final Fantasy... What is it? The Final Fantasy Chronicles, Chronicles that has Chrono Trigger, which was the Akira Toriyama cutscenes revealed for the first time. So and then that, just some other Final Fantasy game. Is. That yeah. pretty much collects my, uh, finishes my Chrono Trigger collection. Bar one, you said? Well, there's a VHS that was released in Japan, and it was a short, uh, a Chrono Trigger short that Akira Toriyama drew. That's cool. It goes for about 10, 15 minutes. It, Chrono, you see the back of Chrono's head for like two seconds. But oh. it follows one of the NPC side characters. I oh. thought you were about uh, to be like, it goes for about 10 to 15 grand. And no, I was like, no, whoa. No, it's, That's actually cool that it follows the side character. I like yeah, that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so I'm, I'll probably will get that one day. But as far as games go, done. There is one say. more thing. Yeah. I found something today. Uh-huh. <gasps> I found something today. Yeah. This is the bit. Just, just, just to put something in context i was in the kitchen putting away my dishes and i went to walk back in and i can't remember who it was anto or Braden stopped me at the door and said no do not come in go away I was like, all right well it's my house okay i apparently became a caveman for a second yeah. <laughs> uh i was out just to have a look at some shops today and found something i'm like i gotta get that for ben that's very ben oh dear ben would you like to close your eyes and hold out your hand <laughs> I've done this before. Oh, sorry, below the desk. Just ignore, <laughs> I was say, just ignore the zipping sound. I'm wearing track pants for that reason. It's a robot. Ah. No, yeah. Here we go. O open your eyes. Okay, it's a mug. I can feel it's a mug. Okay, open your eyes. Your super yeah. junior CE camp. <laughs> Power your face. So that is Christian Endeavor camp ripped off Mario and put it on a mug. <laughs> Power your face, Ben. Power, Power up, up your, your faith. faith. Power up your faith. With Mario superimposed <laughs> onto a mug for Christian Endeavor. 
Um, <laughs> Christian Endeavor, I'd love to say you're fucking dobbed on. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I'm Nintendo's calling gonna Nintendo. Nintendo's going to cancel that mug. <laughs> You're you dead. Better have been hoarding those donations and not How paying good your taxes. Is that? <laughs> I hope for your sake that your faith is true because you're going to need to rise from the ashes, motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> that was the phoenix, but whatever. Eh, it still works. Having How good is that? Dead, right? <laughs> it's pretty funny. How gross is it? It's very gross. It's 2024 sticky. too is this year. Someone oh, really oh. didn't hang on to that. Ugh. All Ben could hear from a kitchen while we were discussing this was just giggling of like high school children. <laughs> There's a rumor funny. from the movie here, but it's 8-bit Mario there. So yeah, I know. It makes no sense. And it's 8-bit Mario not in his uh, clothing. And They're that's a 64 clothing. star. And like, yeah, well. 3D Mario World sort of lettering. Hey, hey Ben. Yo. I've done a treat for you. Oh, okay. I could only find two, two. listings on eBay... Of Dino Riders number three. <laughs> oh wow! There's How only long two. Did it take you to type that. We were talking about that about an hour ago. No, I found them a while ago, but there was no good time to bring it up. But th- there's literally only two listings that I can find. Yep. So I'll leave them open for you. Thanks. I'll find them eventually. Dino Riders number one was given to me as a gift. That was nice. Anyway, <laughs> Floppy, you want to plug anything? Sure. Your mum. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you can head over to Instagram where you can look up Floppy Plays Games. Um, I am it's playing a dangerous game at the moment. Sure is. You didn't know I was talking to you. I was talking to the royal you. It was all of <laughs> everyone. <laughs> 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 Jesus. Uh, yeah, I post pictures of games and things that I've bought. Uh, I did pick up Elix and uh, and Fist. <laughs> A little while ago. Mm-hmm. Euphemism? Maybe not. Uh, I'm kidding. You. Elix is actually interesting. It's like well, this one where you got like, you can flick between a How's fantasy world and a sci fi world. See, I'll look at that and call it Alex. Yeah, I would. Elix. Or, or, to correctly pronounce it, Ely 10. <sighs> Ely 10. Ely 10 too. Well, the second E makes the first E an E and not an E. Ely 10. So, Elix. Ely 10. But anyway, for well, that, and it's got my Toy Fair things on there from uh, that I put up there today. Hmm. Anto, uh, I've actually posted a new thing on my Final Fantasy Instagram account in the last oh. week. Um, people probably already know about it, but I recently finished my physical uh, Final Fantasy mainline release collection, so I now have all of them because I bought Final Fantasy XI. That's cool. Um, I so, how many is in that collection? At least eleven. Like how many physical, oh, how many physical things? Oh, are so like I've I've got at least one physical copy of every mainline installment now. So how many? Is... So I've got like seven Final Fantasy sevens and four Final Fantasy eights. How many different games are there? There are sixteen mainline titles at the moment. Yep. So how many copies of a Final Fantasy game do you own? Dun, 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 I don't. Dun, uns- dun, I don't understand the question yeah, I don't either. Really understand the All right, so. There's Final Fantasy 1. Yep. I have one copy of that. There's Final Fantasy 2. I have two copies of that. Therefore, I have three. Final Fantasy 3. Oh, I have six copies of that. How many? Okay. I have nine. How many right. Final Fantasy you games do you want own? Me to list it, I can. Not list. Just tell just me a number. The number. Okay, so for Final Fantasy 1? No, just just a number. Just In I total. Many. In total. Oh, God, I don't know. Round, rough guess. It's not that important. I was just making a conversation starter. <laughs> like 30? Whatever 3 times 16 is, at least. At least. Okay. All right, I just, what, 32? You're looking Damn. at like, what, 48? Maybe. No, 52? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. Um, but yeah, no, uh, Toy Fair stuff will be going up on here as well. I just didn't want to put it up 54. before today because I was actually going to be on my show for once. Um, <laughs> I've yeah. got some other stuff recently that will be going up probably here, if not on my other uh, Instagram account. Hey, it's Anto. Um, just I bought a fairly expensive Sonic Adventure anniversary statue. Um, That's a nice statue. I saw it. Yeah, it's a very nice nice. statue. Only downside is first four figures didn't ship it with a battery or charging cable. They expect you to go out and spend an extra $30 on that. Oh, that's nice. What Um, what port does it take? uh, So it's a USB C charging port, but the battery is a 18500. Oh, it won't work just off power. No, no. (laughs) It literally requires you to finish the circuit with a specialist battery that you can only buy at like two locations physically in South Australia. Wow. What was this? That is dodgy. Battery for a light. Yeah. Anyway, oh. uh, Braden. Hi. Pop, 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 <laughs> plug. Plug, plug. 
I do a movie and TV show and WWE podcast with my friends called Millennial Movie Talk, and we recently talked about the Deadpool and Wolverine trailer, and uh, Alex uh, went and saw Abigail and Challengers, um, and Challengers is apparently very good. That's the Zendaya threesome movie. Oh, Ooh. the tennis one? Yeah, the tennis one. I was going to say yeah, tennis movie, not the threesome movie, I think right? there's tennis in there. Oh, there is a lot of threesome There's work a lot here. of balls being hit back and forth. <laughs> it's a good time. Yeah, um, no, it's, not, it's not a fun time unless you've got balls flying at your face. That's it. Uh, we also talk a lot about Fallout, uh, understandably. Um, and next week's episode will feature uh, The Fall Guy, which is the Ryan Gosling, Emily Blunt uh, rom-com. And you've got Ryan Gosling live on the show, don't you? That's it. Yeah. Yep. Ken yeah. himself. Well, He's... What, a, what a huge coup that is for you. Yeah, uh, it's, a, it's a big deal. Is there any plans to revive the thing you were doing when you were watching like classic movies that you guys hadn't seen? Not at the moment. They're talking about classic wrestling now. Okay. I just mean, we are, we are just talking about wrestling. Uh, shout out to Demi, who's uh, Rhea Ripley, who's injured at the moment, which is very sad, but uh, uh, it, it's, 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 it'll be okay. She does watch. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Really? No. Oh, I was going to say, <laughs> yeah. what? Well, she is from Adelaide. Big gamer. She is. She uh, is, is a she? massive fan of Vegeta. In fact, her first WrestleMania match against Charlotte Flair, you go back and look at her costume, it's a Vegeta oh uh, Saiyan costume. Fantastic. Cool. Yeah. Absolute champ. Uh, I do Super Retro Squad, where I go out and uh, take my GoPro and uh, look around looking for bargains and uh, bring you along for the ride in a point of view. Much like Wolfenstein, I shoot Nazis while I'm doing it as well. So that's Hell extra yeah. fun. Yeah. Um, and just like Wolfenstein, it's all from a middle of your chest. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> So I go out with Julian, uh, Ghost Games, friend of the show, and we find heaps of stuff for pretty good prices. I try to give a little bit of history on things when I find them as well and know something about them. Or I'll just, you know... Oh, <laughs> yeah, Julian goes just in the chat there. Uh, I, you know, just uh, put some ads in for no reason. Like if I need the video to be over that 10-minute mark and I don't have enough footage, I go, where's an old ad oh, of something cup. that I found? Generation 1 Transformer, cup. Yeah, they, they wanted 45 bucks for that. That is too much because doesn't even have this? his weapon. No. Oh, this was just someone's house. Oh, <laughs> yeah, they they I had like it was a market. Did they know you were in there? <laughs> yeah, they, they invited us. To, they were having a, a, a one of these collections where they had everyone come round. They we just were at a market. It was the market where we got. I got that box full of figures for fifty bucks, and it was like Ninja Turtles in there and Street Sharks and everything. Mm. Um, they said, "Oh, well, we've got a thing at our house. Come to it." And we went, "All right." So Julie and I rocked up. There wasn't that much there. It was, you would have loved it. It's heaps of model stuff. Yeah, right. Um, this is a big spread for a house. Yeah, well, we're inside their shed there. Far out. Uh, I did two videos for the Adelaide Comic and Toy Fair. Uh, they'll be coming out in the next couple of weeks. One of them deals with the uh, day before the con, so where all the actual deals happen. And then the next one is I missed it this year. the actual con. So, yeah, I found a whole lot of Tarzos. Um, is that what you found the Sonic ones, but I have now? Yes. Yeah, cool. Yeah, nice. yeah it, was, it was actually right here. <laughs> Uh, in fact, I think you can actually hear me saying, oh, Anto would like them. Oh, oh Vera would like them. <laughs> oh, Ossie would like them. Uh, yeah, I bought a whole this whole bucket full of Tarzos. Um, but yeah, Super Retro Scott, jerk it out. It's a good fun time. Um, and totally thought you said jerk it out then. <laughs> Maybe you I jerk did. Jerk it out. <laughs> But we've been Hack the Dino. This has been our gaming cast where we uh, allegedly bring you the past, present, and future of video games, <laughs> news, previews, and discussions. Allegedly. Allegedly. Sometimes we do, sometimes we don't. But after all that, I'd just like to say thank you for being a friend. Oh, and thank the Patreons. Specifically to the Patreons. If you could bring that back up, please, Braden. Uh, thank you to those Patreons that like to supply us with um, funds to do all the things that we'd like Keep to do. Keep the mics on. Uh, so thank you to Seth, thank you to Ash Knight, thank you to Karen Knight, Dylan the Villain, Triple Indy, Mike Towns, and Game, Game Boy, Boy Dad. Dad. And please, if you would like to throw some coin our way, we'd really appreciate it. Head on over to hackthedino.com, click the Patreon link, and join for as little as $2 a month. I promise you we'll actually get those tiers updated and have a discussion about what we can actually do to make it worth your money. Besides bring you hours of endless entertainment and euphemisms. Yeah, TLDR, if you had fun... Send us some funds. What was... What? T -t 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 Too long. Don't read. Yeah. Oh, floppy. Are you just fucking making... Stop. Just fucking stop making... LFG. Fucking... What is it? Anagrams? Stop it.
Say words. Okay, it's past Fluffy's bedtime. He has to. Yeah. Jesus, the he's nurse, grumpy. The nurse needs to no, come and take No, I had someone else now. the other day at work say he's, lol. He's, start, he's started again. They said lol to me. I'm like, no, it's, it. you don't find it funny. If you found it funny, you'd fucking laugh. Stop it. Just stop it. Fucking do it. Stop describing the emotions that you aren't Brayden, actually why are you having. doing this? It's not okay. I'm gonna twat you one. My rant's over. What? <laughs> Wait, no, it's not. 